Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we are going to talk about manufacturer applied emblems as opposed to custom, pasty, or aftermarket applied emblems either attached by an owner or enterprising or maybe unscrupulous individual who is just looking to make some money. Pasties is the name that seems to have been given by the cigarette lighter collecting hobby in general. It is very common in the various Zippo Facebook groups to see what are generally termed as pasties offered for sale. They're usually pretty quickly identified for what they are a genuine zippo that has had a aftermarket emblem a lot of times they are hat or lapel type pins that have had the pin cut off and then glued or otherwise epoxied or attached to the lighter you can see where this zippo literature offered applied emblems of varying assortment from clubs and fraternal organizations to military insignias. Zippo has also applied many corporate emblems over the years. I don't know exactly what the ordering process for that was. There are countless untold lighters that have rolled out of that Zippo factory with emblems on them applied by the company themselves. But our topic of discussion today is really not going to be defined or limited to Zippo at all because the examples that I have for you are a couple of park lighters and this penguin Cygnus and then a little bit later after I was done filming these three I got to thinking and dug out three lighters that I have listed right now on eBay which are all Japanese made advertising lighters with applied emblems on them. There are a few points I want to make about these first three that we have featured though that I believe lend credibility to the fact that they were original uh, factory applied emblems and not what you see on the Facebook groups being referred to as pasties. For one, with this Cygnus lighter, you see the corroboration of the engraving on the back. The Tidewater Oil Company was affiliated with Flying A. That does not, in and of itself, prove that the lighter came from the factory with the emblem on it, but I do think it adds credibility to it. In the case of this 100 Pipers lighter, it's very similar. The etch and paint text on the front side to me adds credibility to the brass emblem, or it appears to me to be brass, that is attached to the back side. But once again, those two things would not necessarily, just in and of themselves on the same lighter, prove that it came from the factory that way. In the case of this park lighter, advertising 100 Piper's Scotch Whiskey, I was able to find several other examples of this lighter that have been sold over the last several years. You can always go to eBay and search current listings as well as narrow your search query down to sold listings and you can see sold listings going back 90 days. So that's one way that you can go look just to see if there have been other examples of that particular lighter with that brand and maybe even from that particular year if you can narrow it down to a year of manufacture can, like you can with uh, most Zippo lighters. But there's also a website called WorthPoint which tracks not just eBay sold listings but various other places where goods are sold around the world wide web and keeps track of them. The vast majority of what you see there are eBay listings and that's fine because like I said you can't see all that on eBay all the time anyway. You can only go back 90 days of the 
most recent sold listings when you search for a particular term and those listings show up. But with WorthPoint, you can reach back practically to the advent of the internet. And if you went in there and typed in 100 Pipers Park Lighter, you're going to find several examples of this exact lighter with the brass or gold tone emblem on the back and Seagram's 100 Pipers Scotch, the text on the front, Slim Park Lighter, there have been many of them sold over the last 20 something years, however long that the Worth Point website has been keeping track or aggregates and brings up those past listings. I think I mentioned in the individual video that I did for this Smirnoff lighter that I had done the same thing with it. I wasn't sure, did not know, uh, really just kind of happened upon the Smirnoff lighter and so I was trying to verify whether it was a pasty or came from the factory like that and when I found, I don't know, it was a dozen or more of those listed on Worth Point exactly in the same condition with the enameled emblem applied on the same side then I was sufficiently satisfied that it had come from the factory with that Smirnoff emblem already attached. No doubt about that in my mind. Now this Tidewater Oil Company Penguin Cygnus that is very nicely engraved, very clean. I traded for this from a very fine gentleman on Facebook. Traded some Zippo boxes for this and another Cygnus table lighter. But it's bothered me since I got it that those wings on that emblem on the front do not appear to be even. I have thus far assuaged my worry by the fact that it is engraved so well, so definitively on the back with something that was associated with the Flying A truck stop logo. It is very nice lighter. It's brand new condition. It had a flint dried up in it when I got it. I have no doubt as to the veracity of the gentleman who traded it to me. Just makes me wonder, as I said, that look how those wings look uneven. In my mind, if I was applying that emblem, I think I would have done so where the wings were equidistant from the base of the lighter instead of it looking like it is sort of tilted. Both very nice emblems though, and I think I would put my confidence level of the Cygnus coming from the factory or coming out of the box with that emblem on it at probably about 95% or so, simply because mainly because of the engraving on it and it all being so clean. It just doesn't come across and look as though it was cheaply done or an afterthought, other than the fact that those wings are sitting there crooked looking to me. Whatever. Either way, it's, uh, it's a very nice lighter that I'm glad to have in my collection. And uh, now I'll probably get to listen to several of you tell me why that is a pasty. I have a few other examples that I pulled out of my inventory that I want to show you of applied enameled emblems on advertising lighters. These last three are going to be Japanese advertising lighters. That was a Barlow Slim Dandy. This next one, I'm not sure what that advertising is for. That is on an Ideal Line lighter. And I don't have any real doubt that any of these last three are 100% genuine and came from their Japanese factory with those emblems on them, or however it was that those emblems were generally applied back in that day. Who knows, maybe those emblems weren't applied in the factory. Maybe they were applied once they got over here, or maybe a lot of those companies had American offices from which they administered the guarantees and such for these 
Japanese made advertising lighters. The first one that Advanced Magnetics Admu Shielding. I kept this lighter in my bench for a couple of years before I finally found an insert that I could put in it so I could sell it. The squirrel emblem or squirrel logo lighter. I had another identical lighter that just wasn't in as good a shape. And that Penguin Gordy Tire Company lighter is one of the cooler emblems that I have come across. I really like how that depicts the building and the street out in front of the business in general. So let me know what you guys think. Are all these genuine or some of them pasties? Until next time.